A jarring new narrative from Monica Lewinsky, who sheds new light on the struggles she endured while the Clinton impeachment scandal swirled around her. The former White House intern is reflecting openly about the mental health problems she experienced during that period in the 1990s, telling CNN's David Axelrod in his podcast that she had suicidal ideations at the time and even asked the Office of Independent Counsel Ken Starr, who was investigating, about it. Lewinsky referring to Starr's office as the OIC. I just couldn't see a way out. And, and I thought um, that maybe, maybe that was the solution and had even asked, you know, which is, this is also an interesting point of just, I had asked the OIC lawyers about what happens if I die. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. A clinical psychologist sheds light on the trauma Lewinsky likely went through, which could have led her to think about suicide. Not only was it the legal situation hanging over her head, the threats, her having no idea what might happen to her and to her life ahead, it was the public shaming. It was incredibly intense. And what it meant to be called a sexual predator. She was accused of the one, you know, causing this trouble for Clinton and being a narcissist. Lewinsky addressed the issues of shaming and bullying in a 2015 TED Talk. Public shaming as a blood sport has to stop. And it's time for an intervention on the internet and in our culture. The latest podcast interview comes as new attention is being focused on Lewinsky, who's now 48, but was in her early 20s during the Clinton affair and the investigation. She's a producer for a new drama series on FX titled Impeachment, American Crime Story. Sorry, I'm so nervous. I have a huge crush on you. Lewinsky withdrew from the public eye for years after the Clinton scandal, rarely speaking about it, building a wall around her personal life. Analysts say she now seems to be owning her story more, reclaiming the narrative as a survivor. 